It is now time to put an envelope around all this discussion of views as you look, many of you I think, to print out what you have in Inventor, realize how many AutoCAD products use view, and then look at how Revit uses the concept of views to put your stuff on sheets. We'll add to that a product called Layout which comes in SketchUp and how it uses scenes to kind of put stuff and, and deal with it. So I'm going to start here in an AutoCAD drawing trying to use the sheet manager and I'm going to base it on that drawing that we did for structural design drafting which had a bunch of different views for different nodes just so you can kind of go about seeing how it is how it is how easy it is to kind of get things set up in in views and even later setting up the views to include your layer management stuff as well so I'm going to do that by just trying to type in here in a new drawing sheet manager and see what I get well, I don't get anything. So home. Manage. I'm going to stop this and look for it. Okay, in the resume, it's Sheet Set Manager. Sheet Set. And you're going to realize that quite often this sheet set is going to be based on a lot of times on layouts, but it can also be based on views. So you can go to here to Model Views. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open up a new sheet set. We'll go ahead and start with that there. And what we can do here is we can add a new location. And we're going to add, hopefully, not a new location, but a sheet set list, sheet views, and model views. And in the model views, we're going to add a new location. We're going to look for some place out on this computer where we've been sticking a bunch of AutoCAD documents. I'm going to pause this a second here. Like in many things, I'm sorry, you have to go to the mod, you go actually to the folder, and then when you get there, you can go to the drawing and you see this great number of views here in front of you. So each of these are views. So we're going to go about doing that. We're here in our layout. We're going to go ahead now within the layout. We're going to grab and delete. Control Z I guess will work. Or E for erase. We're going to drag just drag the view out over here and then right click. When I do that, I can right click and I can change the scale I want it to come in at. 1 to 12, 1 to 8, 1 to 1, 6 to 1, depending on what I'm laid out in. But it really gives you a lot of control to go ahead and pull in. All I'm doing is pulling that view in and then right clicking and I can go ahead and change whatever view and you see there'll be a lot of control you have so that's you know you can go from drawing to drawing remember how many plot views you can bring in different ones from different drawings you right click you tell it you want it to be whatever scale you want it to be and we're in an architectural setting here so it's looking a little bit odd but basically going through from many different drawings you can pull in many different views. And there is where you see, in fact, how important sometimes the clicky clicks on will be. Getting smaller and smaller, or larger and larger, it's hard to say. There's one to 32. All right, so you've got all this ability here in Sheet Set Manager. So that, in effect, if you started with the right template here, basically, you pull in all your views from all kinds of different sheets and it, they all tend to relate. So that's going to be the first part of this. Uh, we're going to look at an inventor in about a second. So I'm going to pause it and get inventor up and you can see the similarity with the way inventor works. All right, we're in inventor here. I'm going to open up this time not a new drawing or a new part or a new assembly. I'm going to open up an IDW file. I guess I hope it'll 
I'll be able to find something in there. As I bring that in, I bring up a basic, it's best bringing in basically a sheet. If you think about this term that we use in most of engineering with the kind of the concept of the paper being a sheet, when we do, we'll be able to then bring in just the standard view. So we're going to bring in a base view and it's going to give us an ability to kind of find some drawing resource. So we're going to hit cancel here. We're going to need to go ahead and I'm going to pause here. All right, I need to, when I go to this base, I've got to actually tell it where I want that file to get it. And I'm going to tell it I'm going to get the base view from part, I don't know, maybe part three works for me. I hit open here. Yes. And I'm going to bring in that top view. And that's going to bring that in right kind of to a point someplace here where I can deal with it. That would probably brought it on a little bit odd. Uh, I'll see if we can kind of move that. Repeat my base view. Hit a cancel here. So that brought that in. What I want to show, at least for now, is how you project it back and forth there. So. Um, all right, so it went through and it will go ahead and make these kind of views. That's not a great example because, in fact, you see that it stuck it right in the wrong spot. So we'll try to do it again. We'll go to a new, again, an IDW file. We're going to bring in a base. We'll bring a different one in this time, managing, knowing where your things are at. All that stuff is going to be important. giving you different abilities, display options, components, and obviously here is where we're missing it, but I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and place it there. And then of course we can do projected views from that. Hitting the escape key here. Gonna go and do a projected view. I'll just do a couple of views. Create. And once it's done, it's created the views. At this point, there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can go ahead and annotate right inside here. Etc. etc. So that is how views work and the basic ability to kind of go ahead and lay out a sheet. So you've seen just this kind of drag and drop of views first in the sheet set manager in AutoCAD if you use views, here implied in Inventor if you use views, and you'll see the same thing in Revit. So try to set up your sheets. You know, in terms of Inventor, we're not really, I'm not trying to get you to kind of really be able to master that end of Inventor, but you'll see that there is, a lot you can do. I'll try to fill out this last little bit here of the 10 minutes to go ahead and do instead of just a basic view, I'm going to go back to place a view doing a section view in this case. And I'm going to grab a section view here. I'll grab from there to there. The return. Right click. Continue. Hit OK. And then I did a section view out here. Ooh, nice. All right, so this concept, this ability to do section views, you'll see in SketchUp when we look at that as well. It's kind of a real uh, important concept, and the, the ease and the ability to do all this stuff is, is going to be very consistent from somewhat from software to software. As we look at SketchUp and layout, it'll be a little bit different, but we've looked at basic, the guy, basic concept of views already now in AutoCAD and Inventor. And so... You should be able to kind of bring in some of your work for your truss and get a plot out. Uh, don't worry too much about the template and the like. We'll learn how to use whiteout and the like uh, and set that up. Uh, just so you can kind of print something and, and get to the point where you start realizing how much the settings make a big difference. Thanks for listening.